Hey everyone, it's the Health Jogging Out again. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about combining the EWOT system, which is exercise with oxygen therapy, and HIT, which is high intensity interval training. Now, let me just go over the basics right quick. What is EWOT? EWOT was developed by Dr. Manfred von Arden. Uh, it's a protocol developed to support the body's natural energy producing mechanisms. So the most important thing uh, that I've distilled about Dr. Arden's uh, discovery and research on the EWAT system is combining the pure oxygen with the high pressure from the exercise. Okay, the combination of purified oxygen improves the oxygen supply in the blood for micro microcirculation to the capillaries and the endothelium of the body. The exercise provides an adequate level of pressure needed to utilize the excess supply of oxygen. And another factor you're going to need to add is time. Over time, pure oxygen delivered under pressure maintains healthy cellular function, which in turn enables the body to produce energy, remove buildup of toxins, and fight disease. All right, so that's EWAT, and that's, that's what I do every day. Now, what is high-intensity interval training? High-intensity interval training mixes short bursts of high-intensity movements with low intensity recovery periods okay and you can use high intensity interval training with a wide variety of exercises including running jumping ropes swimming squats push-ups and and many others okay the the key to success with high interval training is the intensity when you're doing your burst of exercises you want to work really hard you want to push the body to the limit. Now the recovery phase, I've seen it done several ways. One, you can just slow it down dramatically. So if you sprint as hard as you can for a minute, your recovery period may be just walking, just a casual walk. And then you burst again by sprinting as long as you can. And there's been a lot of experiments with how long you burst and how long you rest. Uh, one example of a program that I found online was you squat for 20 seconds, then you rest for 10. Then you do push-up for 20 seconds, then you rest for 10. Then you do lunges for 20 seconds, and then you rest for 10. I'm going to quickly go over some of the benefits of high-intensity interval training. One of them is you burn calories faster. So studies show that 15 minutes of high intensity interval training burns more calories than jogging on a treadmill for an hour. So that means you can get a great workout in 15 minutes and be done. Another benefit is that the, the high intensity boosts metabolism. The American College of Sports and Medicine says the high intensity interval training helps you to consume more oxygen the non-interval workout routines. So burning more oxygen boosts your metabolism and helps you burn calories faster. So that leads to another benefit which is helping you to burn fat but not muscle because the intensity of the exercise actually builds muscle. So what's getting burned is fat. Additionally, another benefit is the, the high intensity and effect that it has on the metabolism helps you to burn calories for hours after you leave the gym. Um, one study shows that participants in high intensity workouts makes the, your body's repair cycle go into hyperdrive. So this means that even 24 hours after a high intensity interval workout, your body still burning calories in fat versus a steady pace workout. Another benefit is it's also good for heart rate because the intensity of the workout pushes people into the anaerobic zone. 
So it's, it's heart healthy and it gets the blood flowing effectively throughout the body. And really what you do is you train your body to use oxygen and the blood pathways effectively. And there are several other benefits such as you, not, you don't have to have any equipment. Uh, you can use a ton of different exercises so you never get bored um, and things of that nature. I won't go into too much detail on that, but the, the studies around the high intensity interval training has a ton of benefits. So combining that with EWOT, I feel is going to be very beneficial. What I'm showing here in this video, um, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm doing 20 squats as fast as I can. Now that takes right around uh, 35, 36, 37 seconds for me. So that's my burst and I'm pushing as hard as I can. So if I get tired and my legs start burning, I just keep going till I hit 20. Kind of arbitrary number, it might be 30 for you, might be 10 for you. And then I'm resting for as much time as it takes for my heart rate to drop down to 110 beats per minute. Um, the EWAT system recommends the minimum performance levels to be a heart rate of about 110 beats per minute for at least 10 minutes. Now I normally do uh, 15 minutes because that's how long it takes to empty out that bag. I can, I'll, I'll consume all the purified oxygen in a 600 liter bag in about 15 minutes. Sometimes if I work really hard, I can do it in 12, 13 minutes, something like that. So I, I do a little bit more. And also when I'm doing these normal exercises, my heart rate goes way above 110. But just for the purposes of this experiment, combining EWOT and high intensity interval training for the first time, I've, what I'm doing is I'm just resting until my heartbeat drops down to 110. And also for me, it's more of a curiosity factor. I just want to see how long on average it took for my heart rate to drop back down. So anyway, what you're seeing is I do a warm, a warm up set of 23 reps in squats. Okay, and I rested for 30 seconds and then I did another 17 reps um, just to get me to 40. And then I checked my heart rate for the first time. Now, the first time I checked my heart rate, and you can see I've got the little heart rate monitor there on my finger that comes with the kit. Very useful for tracking your heart rate and establishing baselines and things like that. So the first heart rate I got after 40 reps was 153 beats per minute. And that's way over 110, obviously. So the deeper you're breathing, the more pressure, the greater head of pressure you're going to be supplying to push that oxygen into the bloodstream and the capillaries and all those good parts. So that's good. And then I rested for the first time it took 2 minutes and 10 seconds for my heart rate to drop back down to around 110. It might be 111, 113, something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to find that that heart rate monitor on your finger isn't, isn't perfect. It stalls. So you'll see me constantly re-hitting the reset button. And that will reactivate it and give you uh, a fresh diagnosis on your, your heart rate. Works a lot better when you do that. So I just periodically, every time I want to get an accurate count, I'll hit the, re the refresh and it will check it again. All right, so then anyway, I do another 20 reps. That takes me 36 seconds. And then I check my heart rate again and I got 148 beats per minute. And um, I go on and on until 15 minutes is up. So I'm really, I'm resting about four times as long as I'm actually working. In 15 minutes, I only work for 3.8 minutes. Okay, um, but I can burst my heart rate up to 150 beats a minute on average, doing 20 squats. So I, I jack my heart rate way up. And then I rest. I let it come back down to 110. And then, boom, I do another 20. And it only takes 20 reps. I could do more reps than that. Um, but 
if I do more than that, it kind of, I slow down on my reps because I start to get muscle fatigue. And I don't really want to do that. What I want is to be able to push really hard for whatever amount of time that I can do it. And so uh, 30 seconds is kind of a, a length of time that the high intensity interval trainers, they like the, the 30 second range. So I selected that and it just happens that 20 squats is good for me. Uh, it's a very intense exercise and 20 reps kind of gets me where I need to be. So just to break it down, it, um, it, it took me about 36, 37, 39 seconds to do 20 reps and I rested one time a minute 43 seconds at one time it was two minutes and 45 seconds in order for my heart rate to get back down but on average around two minutes for my heart rate to drop back down so um i, I really enjoyed this first test this is just the first one i'm going to do um, i'll do others experimenting with uh different intervals I'll do another one where I where I do a similar burst of 30 but rest for a significant significantly less amount of time something like a minute maybe I'll try 30 seconds and see how that goes um, but in either case after 15 minutes that bag is empty and you if you watch the video you'll see the bag get flatter and flatter and flatter so you want to be sure that this bag is totally full of purified oxygen before you begin that way you'll have enough to get through a 15 minute workout exercise. Also, you'll notice that I'm standing on two books. Those books are about an inch thick. The reason I put my heels up on those is just to make the squat more of a natural motion. It's a little bit easier and keeps me on balance a bit more. In conclusion, I feel like uh, it's a great idea to combine the EWAT system with the high intensity interval training. I found the high intensity interval training to be very interesting. It's just a new way to keep the exercise interesting. Um, it still only took me 15 minutes. I was in and out, boom, really quick. And that's how I like to do it. You can see I'm wearing boots and work pants and everything. I just do this on the way out the door. I fill the bag up the night before, uh, right before I leave for work, I'll blow out 15 minutes and walk out the door. I don't even put on special shoes or shorts or anything. I just do it and go. Really gets me energized and woken up for the day. Um, so I'm, what I'm gonna try to do is just get the benefits of both the EWAT and the high intensity interval training at the same time. And hopefully that'll that'll double, double my benefit. I'm gonna track my benefits uh, from both these systems over time and report back to see how I feel and things of that nature because that's the reason that I'm doing this overall health health longevity the way I feel the way I think my memory my clarity my energy level throughout the day my overall health not getting sick living a long time not suddenly dying at age 50 of a heart attack so that's why I'm embarking on this journey and I appreciate everyone, you know, watching the videos and following along and hopefully, you know, you'll get set up on this a system similar to this as well. And we can share some notes. But I love it. I hope you guys get involved with this movement and uh, if you have any comments or questions, just let me know. Otherwise, good luck. Thank you. Bye.